Hello, everybody. Welcome to Casa de Nerd. Here we game. I am the Mad Irishman, and this is episode eight, question mark, of our Dwarf Fortress playthrough at Simple Paddle. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've gotten a chance to record, um, you know, the holidays, and I've been kind of sick. Um, my vertigo has been, been kicking my, my tuchus, I guess you could say. Uh, so I've really been struggling to feel well enough to record. Um, but we're here. We're going to see if we can bang a couple episodes out today. And I'll see if I can remember what I was doing. So as I recall, we had set up metal industry. And we got soap. We got ashery, smelter. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's have a look at our work orders. What are we making? We're making mugs, bolts, earrings. This must be for trade, doors, tables, charcoal. Okay. Let's set up an order um, because we want to be able to... I think we were struggling to find metal, but I think we had finally found some, but I don't remember what we found. So let's just find the three iron-bearing ores and just smelt them forever. Uh, magnetite, lignite, and hematite. And yeah, you can just... If it exists, please make a... De Oops, that's not what I wanted you to do at all. Please make a desmelt. I did um, change my uh, my meals and drinks. Because the uh, I was doing some reading on Reddit. And it seems to be that the consensus as to why things like brew drinks from plants and brew or uh, cook lavish meals or whatever don't work properly is because of the way that the time frame in which they check and the, the way that they're produced. So just because I tell it to make 10 lavish meals, it's probably going to make more because you get more than one meal out of a stack and it restarts the check before it finishes and then kind of resets uh, kind of thing. So I just set it to once a month, make 10 and that, that should keep me good and not keep my brewer slash cook too terribly busy um let me check something here i uh i have the latest update ah it does work so uh they changed it they well they changed they added it back that the period button basically advances one frame so you can see i'm tapping it and every so often someone gets a move action so that's very cool i'm very happy to see that they added that uh that back in here um, so let's look at our bedroom situation. Got, uh, you know, a good amount of bedrooms. Enough for all of our pops here to handle. Who's mad? We have, it's a, it's a kid that's mad, right? It's a child. Yeah. Uh, so I think what we're going to do. Labor. Where is it? Uh, it's, it's standing orders. Yours. Who's the mad one? Bath. Rimtars. Bacted. Here. Uh, labor. Standing orders. Chores. This guy right here. So you're 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 done with chores for a while. We're gonna see if that helps you uh, be less angry. Do we have any beds in stock? We do. Means we can make that a bedroom. How about things like chests? We have a couple. I know we only have one more, so we'll just drop it in that corner. Do we make any cabinets? Doesn't look like we did. Let's start an order for some cabinets, too. Nice for them to have cabinets and chests in their bedroom. And uh, we're going to do the... Uh, we have less than 10 make 10. And that'll keep things kind of flowing. All right. Uh, we did finish putting, is this food and drink? Yes. And then we were going to make, uh, make this like mug storage. Mm 
Oops. Bug storage. Uh, please do finished goods. Is it finished? It's finished goods. Pipe. Goblets. You may all go here. And, yeah, bins is fine. That's great. So, what I remember is there being a pretty significant issue with us not being able to find iron bearing ore and we did find a ton of marble we tight so we have flux obsidian we didn't have hematite limonite or magnetite i think we had just hit some on one of these floors, but maybe I'm wrong. Have a look. Stones, gabbro, basalt, site, obsidian, marble, gold. We haven't, we still haven't hit any iron bearing ore. At least none of it has found our um, stockpiles. So we're gonna have to keep digging and uh, we're going to do it deeply, and we're going to do it greedily. We're at elevation 20. Go down to elevation 10. And we'll see what uh, what happens. We had started building a barracks. Uh -huh. Remember this now. Okay, there we go. That's 10 beds. We'll need chests for that eventually. Uh, what we will need... Post haste, a couple of doors. Then we can change this into barracks. Oh, we hit the cavern layer! Glorious. We're going to check on that in just a second. Uh, oops. Oh. I don't need to choose which squad. I don't have any squads. Didn't it... Uh... Tell me what this needs to be a fully flushed out barracks somewhere in here. It needs like chests and um, weapon racks and stuff, does it not? Am I crazy? Well, we don't have any. Let's make some weapon racks. And we're going to need them for, for nobles and stuff like that too. So we might as well just make... Ten of them. Rock armor stand. Make a bunch of those. Okay, let's let's have a look. Where did we break through? Okay, here's the stairwell. Wow. Okay. So. <laughs> Uh, not a great spot. This is all open space here. Um, this is, this is actually quite terrible. This is going to be hard to seal off. I don't think it's going to let us build walls around this because it's open space below it. Let's find out. Uh, it appears as though it will, although I wanted to choose my constructions, um, my materials rather. And we got Gabbro for days, we got Basalt for days, okay. I don't know if it's going to let me do this and how many dwarfs I'm going to lose doing it. We'll try to uh, kind of seal it off. And then we'll try to do the same thing all the way up to, to here so flyers can't get in. Um, and then what we're probably going to do... Man, there's a lot of water here. We'll see if maybe we can dig uh, you know, a staircase through here to let us come down here so we, we can at least walk around down here and uh, look at things. We got some plump helmets down here. We got some dead pigtails, but uh, maybe we can find find something good. 
can build a little bridge across over here. Oh. Flooded. I'm going to assume, yeah, this is all muddy water. Uh, but maybe we can figure a way to channel some of this uh, water somewhere and make a well or something out of it. Um, I have to clean it up. Need a gold tetrahedrite. So we found tetrahedrite that's copper. We still have not found any freaking iron. It's, uh, it's making me a little crazy, honestly. Made of gold, dacite. Damn, man. It is unfortunate. This is the flux stone layer. A couple of flux stone layers. All right. Like we've got flux for making steel for days, but this has never happened before. Where the component I don't have to make steel is actually the iron. <laughs> All right. Um. Make sure I don't see anything anywhere. We're just gonna have to pick a level and start digging some. Uh, Exploratory tunnels, I think. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's do let's do here. Just say, why don't you dig up to there? You dig down to there. You dig way over there. Hello. <laughs> do the thing, please. I must uh, when I when I dragged my mouse down, I must have clicked on that. Spellerites, spellerites. This is all gonna be marble. I don't even remember what spellerites for. It's like zinc or something weird that I absolutely do not need. Right, let's have a look at this cavern layer again. Let's see if they're gonna build. My guess is they're not gonna build this. It says inactive. wonder if I have to, um... Hmm. I don't know. This is a part of Dwarf Fortress I've always struggled with, is the multi-level kind of building. and trying to figure out how to uh, do this kind of stuff. So my guess is, because there's nothing underneath this, it won't let it build. But I kind of thought that because there were things beside it, it would uh, it would let it build. That doesn't seem to be the case. We could let it sit for a little bit and um, come back and check it later. But I think in the meantime, we should come up with a contingency plan. Make some uh, some hatches, and we only need four of them. Okay, so we gotta build hatches here. And if it turns out that we can't in any way fix this, block it off, uh, then we'll install uh, hatch covers right here and just lock this whole thing off and then figure out uh, a better way to get down to the cavern. So maybe we'll uh, come down here, dig dig a little tunnel, and then uh, have it come down over here somewhere. And then we can uh, build some proper proper walls here. So they don't, maybe we have to build floors? I do floors on this level. Maybe it'll it'll do the thing. We'll we'll come back and check on it in a little bit. Uh, but that does mean, since we popped the cavern layer, that this is going to start growing uh, fungus and stuff, which should be uh, good enough for our outside animals to come live inside. So we're going to set a pen pasture and we're going to bring all of our outside animals that need to graze inside. I don't have that many. I'm hoping there's enough food in here for them. Someone adopted one of these turkeys as a pet. Oh boy. Okay. We're going to do that. And then we'll get rid of this. And that way, if uh, something nasty comes a-knocking, 
they won't slaughter all our animals like they normally do. We'll just have to keep an eye on this and see if anybody starts starving. And uh, we'll uh, we'll put a couple of doors in as well. I like doors. Uh, I don't remember what we were going to do with this. I believe it was going to be a hospital, but... Uh, a Mark's Dwarf is visiting. Neat. I think we thought better of it because we didn't want place that's open to the public you, you know what here's what we'll do we will make this into our hospital but we'll have two hospitals stay with me we're gonna do a hospital here but this hospital is citizens and long-term residents only so this will be where we treat our dwarves we'll have a second hospital back here in this kind of public area and that is going to be for visitors because I want them to be able to come in and teach the dwarves that we have, uh, you know, give symposiums and that kind of stuff uh, and teach our dwarves to be better doctors. I don't know if that's going to work the way I envision it in my mind, but that's what we're going to try. We're also going to dig another stockpile. Or the clays. Just can't find iron to save my life. Am I digging at the wrong level? Is that what it is? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick uh, a quick Google, and we're gonna check. Okay, so I went and looked at the wiki, and I I am kind of digging in the wrong spot. What I'm looking for is the sedimentary stone layer, um, and it'll contain things such as hematite, limonite, magnetite, which I don't want. Tetrahedrite. Hello. Uh, bituminous coal, lignite, and gypsum, chalk, chert, claystone, conglomerate, dolomite, limestone, mudstone, rock salt, sandstone, siltstone, and shale. Uh, so, it didn't mention andesite, but it did mention tetrahedrite. So, we gotta keep digging in the areas where we have tetrahedrite. Uh, that unfortunately, in this map, also is where the cavern layer is. So, we just have to be a little careful. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to tell you to just kind of... Uh, actually, I think that's what I want. Dig out all that tetrahedrite. We have a petition. Uh, manga lockerns. Eradicating monsters. Probably a good idea to have one of these guys around. Um, in case something nasty comes up for the depths, because we do not have a military to speak of. Uh, we should start trying to get this set up, though. What do we want to do here? How do we want to lay this out? We can't really use this corner. And we want to have uh, spots in here for them to, like, little uh, kind of foot lockers, basically. So each bed's going to have a little foot locker. Which seems very on brand military wise. Um, and then for armor stands, maybe we'll have. Now I I think they only need these. They're they're decorative only. So I don't think these need to exist for any purpose other than that. So let's put like one there, and then uh, let's do a weapon rack. One there. And then what we'll probably do, maybe back here, oops, oops if you hit all, dum-dum, maybe back here, and I don't, I don't know how big we need to make this, we'll have this be the armory, we'll have them store all of their weapons and armor in here. And then that way they have a nice wide open area in here to spar. And then if we start doing Mark's Dwarves, maybe back here we'll do something um, same size. Um, and we'll put some archery targets back here, and then they'll have a place to, to shoost, to commence with the shoosting. All right, we'll let that go for a minute. Uh, 
where are we at? We're at 20 minutes. We got a little bit more time. Not too much more time, but a little bit more time. So far, these uh, these guys seem to be doing okay. None of them say that they're starving. So that's good news. Uh, we wanted to. I think we had like one more of these to set up as a bedroom. So that gives me uh, 8, 16, 24 bedrooms. We've got 23 dwarves. We are in good shape there. Uh, but just for you know what's in giggles, we might have a migrant wave coming. And if we can get ahead of this game, would love to do so. Okay, that's great. Uh, the other thing we do need to do We've got our, our dining hall back here. And this is, this is, you know, great and everything. But we need a proper tavern as well. And in fact, in doing some reading and research between the last time I got to record, it seems like this probably is kind of useless. If I want to keep this for dwarfs only. Um... But, you know, who knows? A lot of things you do in Dwarf Fortress don't actually have any purpose other than to be aesthetically pleasing or, like, kind of RP. Uh, but what we want, we want dwarves to be able to socialize with others. So we want to make taverns for that, and then those dining rooms are more for satisfying requirements for nobles, is kind of the way I read it. Uh, so what we're going to do is back here... We're going to make a big old, big old thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, so that's 12 by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, no. Twelve. Um, and then off the side here, we're going to have some guest rooms for rent for our monster hunters and bards that are inevitably going to want to stay here. And we can have a couple going off every direction uh, if we want to. So, there we go. And these will all be our temples. And then maybe uh, maybe off the back here, we make a our hospital back here, and then maybe I don't know, we'll make a little a little something something. Maybe this will end up being guild halls. I don't know. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll make some hallways coming off, and that way we don't uh, corner ourselves here. We could build you know back here, over here, 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 whatever, and it's still behind this door so if if the you know what hits the fan I can just uh, quickly click these lock them and then nothing can get in uh, unless it has the door smasher uh, ability like a, a forgotten beast or something but that's just something you know you just have to kind of deal with alright let's have a look at what we found here Where did my staircase come down at? Right there. So, as as expected, they have not done anything with this because they they can't, right? Um, oh man, I wish I didn't have to click each and every one of these individually to cancel it. So instead of building walls there, what if we built floors? What if we said construction and instead of that we said lures and make that out of basalt. I'm just going to do this for just to see if they do it. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. So what do we got here? We got another Mark's Dwarf. Is that the same one? I don't know. Uh, so we popped the cavern layer. Very cool. We did finish setting up a barracks and uh, we've got some auxiliary rooms for other stuff there. We moved our cattle inside. Uh, we started digging out a public tavern and uh, inn. 
And I think that's about it. We made a couple more bedrooms. We dug out spots for a couple more. We're making progress. We're making progress. So thanks for coming and hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate you. Yeah, we can have a... I don't want to have too many of these guys, but we'll we'll get like four of them. And then after that, we'll start denying requests. Um, yeah, thanks for coming and hanging out and watching Dum Dum play Dwarf Fortress. I do appreciate you. Uh, if you like what you saw and you haven't already, feel free to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. They all help immensely. Uh, this video this video series is doing pretty well as far as YouTube goes for me. So I'm very happy to keep doing it uh, because Dwarf Fortress is a great game. And uh, it's finally getting the recognition it so desperately deserves. And I'm happy to keep showing it off. So take care and hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.